Hello, everyone. My name is Rob Woodward. And my name is Michael O'Ramus. We are two professors of mathematics at Salt Lake Community College. This is likely to be one of, if not the first video that you'll be viewing for your Introduction to Statistics course. And we here at Salt Lake Community College have created quite a few different types of videos to assist you as you make your way through the course. It's not just Rob and I that have created videos for the course. All of these wonderful people have also worked on content for this course to assist you with your learning. But we have decided as a team not to include screens of ourselves in the videos, so to not distract you from the information included. However, we want to create this introduction video so that you know that there are faces behind the voices you'll be listening to and learning from for the coming semester. All six of us want to tell you who we are and what we're excited about with this new version of Introduction to Statistics. With that said, I'll begin with a bit about myself. I've been teaching statistics for about five or six years now, four of those years here at Salt Lake Community College. When I was originally taking statistics in my college career, I was not the biggest fan of it, but ever since then, particularly with the new modern way of teaching statistics, I've become far more interested, and I think you will as well. I've been teaching statistics for about seven years now. I really like this course. It applies to many of our lives, and I hope as you go through the material, you'll see the utility of it in your lives and in the future courses that you will be taking. Now, Rob and I have been teaching this course for many years, and we've always enjoyed using lecture notes to assist students learning both in and out of class. And in this new version of the class, we still have these lecture notes implemented, which we are very excited about, as they are very detailed and include a lot of examples and exercises for you to practice. The best way to use these lecture notes are as study material when you are reading through the sections in the book. Try to fill out the notes to the best of your ability on your own. Then watch the lesson videos, exercise videos, and GeoGebra videos made by our team to review the material and fill in any gaps. Now that's enough about us. Let's pass it on to Elizabeth. Thanks guys, I'm Elizabeth and I've been teaching at Salt Lake Community College since 2010. In this course, I was one of the instructors who created the exercise videos. These are the videos with the practice problems that you watch after your lessons. I also organized and created the OHM digital homework for this class. In your homework, you will get multiple tries for most of the problems. It is important that you really learn the material on the homework. You should start your homework as soon as possible after you learn the material in class. Don't delay beginning it. This will really help you learn it. It is important to keep up and do the homework. Try not to get behind. The concepts in this class will build on each other and you will have better success if you practice the earlier material. Be sure to ask for help if you are confused in any of the problems. We did a lot of work to organize and create this homework for you. I hope they help you practice all the concepts in this class. And now it's time for you to meet John Thank you, Elizabeth. Hi, my name is John Schweitzer. I've been a math professor at Salt Lake Community College for over 10 years, teaching statistics for most of that time. Before that, I was a statistician at a bank building credit rating models. I recorded most of the GeoGebra videos you'll find here in Canvas. GeoGebra has a lot of applications and will make the various calculations done in this class much easier to compute. It also is a freely available software package, which will save you from having to buy the $100 graphing calculator that students in earlier semesters had to buy. That's about it for me. Next, Alia will talk to you about the textbook for this class. Thanks, John. Hello, my name is Alia Criddle, and I've been a mathematics and statistics professor at SLCC since 2007. I have a master's degree in applied mathematics with lots of statistics and introductory statistics is my absolute favorite class to teach. I love how immediately relevant it is to our daily life and how understanding statistics and being reasonably skeptical can really help guide our decision making. I hope you'll love this topic. For this course, our SLCC statistics team has adapted an open educational resource or OER textbook just for our students here at Salt Lake Community College. By writing this book for you, we hope to both keep the cost of the course really way down and also to set you up to learn exactly the topics that we want you to learn. Reading the textbook is going to be essential to your success in this course. So before you come to class or watch an online lecture video, we expect you to read that section in the textbook. Like Michael said, 
you'll fill in your guided lecture notes as you read that section of the book. And then you'll come and meet with your class or watch an online lesson video so that we can build on what you've learned and help you to really master the topic. These sections will be pretty brief, so don't worry, you won't be reading a whole chapter at a time, just a few pages to prepare. I want to give you just a few things to watch for as you read the textbook. So first, the key vocabulary words are bolded throughout the text to help draw your attention to them. And these are the vocabulary words that you'll be filling in for the definitions in your guided lecture notes. Second, in the textbook, the marked guided practice problems, these have solutions in the footnotes. So try the problem on your own and then look at the bottom of the page to check how you did. Third, watch for the framework of the process of statistical investigation that's used to organize examples throughout the book. This will really help you to organize your thoughts and to understand how to look at a problem statistically. Fourth, plan ahead to consider how you want to access the textbook. The bookstore has printed copies that are inexpensive. The full PDF file of the entire book is posted in your Canvas site. And then the individual reading pages are posted on those lesson pages inside of Canvas. So think about how you want to use it and plan for your reading. The important thing is that you read it. There's one more thing I want you to know about this course, and that's that we have structured it to incorporate modern approaches to teaching introductory statistics. So if you've taken a statistics course before, this one may look a little bit different to you. We're using an approach that teaches the important topic of inference early in the course by using simulations. These simulations are easy to understand and fun to carry out. So be prepared to think about things in a new way. We have one more professor to introduce. So take it away, Tiffany. Thanks everyone. I'm Tiffany Hilton and I've been teaching here at SLCC since 2010. My degrees are in statistics with a math minor and I pretty much only teach introduction to statistics classes. I love teaching this class because I never hear, when am I ever going to use this stuff? It's all real world applications, which you'll see in the lecture example and exercise videos and in the homework quizzes and projects you'll do throughout the semester. You'll also see this in the exams. So we've created sample problems that go along with all the learning objectives for the course. They are posted in Canvas and you should use them to practice the concepts as you prepare for quizzes and exams. You'll hear my voice in the learning objective videos that you can use to check your work on the sample problems and pick up on hints and tips from me. Thank you for watching this video introducing most of the people who came together to make this version of Introduction to Statistics at Salt Lake Community College a reality. We believe that the things you learn this semester will help you become both better consumers and producers of statistics in your real lives. Please reach out to your instructor if you have any questions. We all want you to succeed.